Hi and welcome to this edition of Out the Box. My name is Paul Turner. We're going to have a look at what is in this box. This is the Ubiquiti Camera Compact Junction Box in white. If you've seen my other video um, where I did the uh, JB, the Junction Box, and it's pretty much about this size, people were quite shocked at the size of that. This is the compact version. The other one, do have a look. If you wanted to mount um, a, a dome or something like fully enclosed in it, then it could be a good option for you. But this is the compact version version currently in white so let's run through what you're actually going to get in the box um, and i'll show you how some of it's going to um, fit together so you let's just try over here you're going to get a number of packets of screws screws and lugs more screws a metal uh, tensioning ring you are going to also get a couple more screws and a metal zip tie there. You are going to get a drilling guide and a level if you're wanting to mount that to the wall. You are going to get a back plate, which I'll show you how that fits at a moment. Um, this follows the pattern if you've had any of the Air Max products, any other products you'll see in here. Um, the ribs, these are actually curved. I've put my finger there to clip, um, hold round a... Um, pole um, and then you would use that gap in there probably can't see it now with my heart that's there we go this gap here um, to actually put the uh, zip tie through you are then going to get a couple of capping options um, just a straight end there let me just show you that so you can see it let the camera focus a straight end piece then you're going to get uh, another piece this would fit generally onto Nemi a metal pipe um, you can see it's threaded this end, so a, a metal conduit that's already got a, a thread in it. All right, and that will come down to the device, uh, to the device, to the junction box, and you're going to get a straight um, cover as well. There you go, and it just can be um, tightened up there. So how does this all fit together? Well, this is the actual junction box itself. So let's have a little look. So this will take the turret... This will take the G5 Dome Ultra. It won't take the domes themselves. You might be able to make them retrofit on that, but they will be bigger than that. And this will take all of the other ones, the, the bullet-shaped cameras as well. So what's the idea? This is going to be mounted onto the wall. All right, um, and I'll show you where it's got a pad on the moment. It could be mounted onto a pole as well, um, or it can be mounted um, down like this. So I'll just run this through, but let me just show you there at the front. Um, there is a hole here at the top. This is our location. This is our entry point. You can see all of the different screw plates in there and obviously the bags of screws that we've got will allow you to fit the camera in various ways. This is a, um, I don't know whether you can see me depressing that, this is a uh, foam filled back there that allows you to pass the cable um, through. Um, obviously if you're filling directly um, from the front or the back there. Um, so if you were filling, I mean, I'll show you that back there. So there's the, the back. So obviously if you fed the camera in, the cable in here from the back, um, you're obviously then going to need to bring it through, either um, bringing it through with the dongle if you've got um, a turret or a dome um, of the ultras, or your cable is going to come through there, and then the camera is going to be mounted here um, on the front. But obviously that's going to help create a waterproof um, seal. So the outside of this here is metal. This portion in the middle here, as I said, is plastic. On the back here, we've got like a foam seal. It's a few millimeters thick. That's again, if you're gonna push that up onto the wall, it's gonna help create that full waterproof seal. So if we were to take this front cover off, we can see um, that this holds in place. We've got our carabiner um, here. What's the idea that the camera is mounted onto um, this? Um, and as a result, everything else is fastened to uh, in place, and so this is not going to drop away. Um, we can then see in here um, we have uh, some other mounting holes um, right the way down there. Um, you can probably just see them just under my fingers here. Um, they're covered up um, by the foam background, but obviously you'd screw through those. Um, if I just show you, if I can just point it there, it is just there. Um, you'd be able to screw directly through that um, and seal this into the wall if you wanted to. And then, like I said, you've got the option of the cable coming through um, or on the top. So let's talk about how um, maybe in that basic sense it's going to come from the back. We have 
quite a few different options. So here's our back plate. If we wanted to, we could screw our black back plate uh, into place from here. The screws are going to run through, um, obviously, from in here um, out to the plate. Those are with the zip tie bag there that we talked about. Um, that will allow, allow you to screw it to the um, pole um, here. And then obviously you're going to be able to run the zip tie through that hole uh, there. Let's just let that focus uh, through that hole. Hopefully you can see that. It's having a struggle to figure out what's going on. There we go. Through the hole that you can see here um, and zip tie that into place. So what we've we got, we've got a few other options. Obviously, if we've done that, we need to bring our cable, decide how we're going to bring our cable in. It's probably not going to be from the back. Um, so we might want to use our plug here um, and plug that all up and be nicely sealed there in the back if we did that. Um, and then we would maybe use our end stop that we've got and actually screw that into place here and do that up nice and tight to create ourselves a waterproof seal. Up to you which way you would mount that then at that point I might be inclined to mount it upside down just to make sure liquid was always running away from it but that's up to you. Um, so this is really our end bung. Maybe you've got some other options you could put it on uh, the back here all right and seal that in place and then maybe we or you could be using again the back plate if we'd uh, put it to the wall um, unless you wanted to push this out a little bit from the post and then we've got this like I said this is always going to be created and connected to already a um, metal uh, conduit that has a um, screw thread at the end so if we mount this in here we've got a number of options of how this could be this could actually literally be pole uh, suspended now let me just put this uh, cover back in place here so we've got our camera fixed on here this could obviously come down on a pole like this um, and screwed into here and that could be now um, put somewhere out in portion partly out in the front of a building um, maybe we could decide if we've come from the side this way round lots of options could have even come from below if you want to do it that way obviously we can use our bung that we've got completely in the back to seal that up and then obviously screw our camera uh, into place um, onto here so there's quite a lot of options there in the way that this can actually be fitted. I think I've probably given you most of the, the bits and pieces in there, um, but the main options that you've got, obviously you've got um, a back hole there and then you've got one main pole. You can hear that's a full metal construction. So this is our main entry point for allowing us to side underneath uh, straight vertical or maybe even hung vertical. Um, so you imagine then the turret fitted onto the um, front of this, which would cover up pretty much all of that um, space and um, would actually give you quite a clean mounted solution to be hung. So I think that's given you an idea of most of the pieces on there. It's obviously a lot more, uh, it's a lot smaller than the other one. Um, the main junction box, um, it doesn't carry the dome cameras, like I said, other than the dome ultra, the G5 dome ultra carries the turret, but not the G4 dome or the G5 dome. Uh, plenty of options to mount that, metal casing, uh, really good options for it. Hopefully that's been useful. This is the camera compact junction box in white. Why don't you head on over to our YouTube channel? We've got plenty more box openings on network, firewall and wireless devices. What do I need to run Unify Protect? Um, for example, our other how-to guides or comparisons um, on the picture quality, um, all of the ubiquity um, camera range there. So why don't you subscribe and stay up to date?